Today we are going to discuss the Harding Coat of Arms, but before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer professional genealogy research services at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned Ghouls, Three Greyhounds Current in Pale Ore, Collared Azure. This belonged to the Hardings of Hollingside in County Durham, England, who descended from Richard Harding of Hollingside, who had great-grandson Ralph Harding, who was alive in the year 1575. Now, it should be noted that one Hugh Harding, or Henry Harding, bore three golden hairs running on a red field with white collars about their necks. He found a Scottish knight who bore the same coat of arms as him. The Scottish knight was named William de St. Lowe, and they got into a duel over who was the true owner of the coat of arms, and Mr. Harding won that duel. Same coat of arms with a crest, a demi lemur leopard rampant ermine, gorged with a collar azure, Byzantine chained ore. It was born by William Harding, alive in the year 1568, citizen and cloth worker of London, the son of William and the grandson of William. Another very similar coat of arms, this belonging to Reverend John Harding, born 1779, of Coley and Bencombe in Gloucestershire and of Rockfield in Monmouthshire. He was rector of Coity and Coy Church in Glamorganshire, Wales, and he lived at Glen Agwer House, which we see here. Next, a coat of arms granted in 1711 to three relatives. We have John Harding of Kings Newton in County Derbyshire, his brother, Gideon Harding, vicar of Kingston in Surrey, and his cousin, Nicholas Harding of Hatton Garden in London. John was the son of Robert Harding and the grandson of Sir Robert Harding, who was knighted in 1674. Very similar coat of arms, this said to be of Boundis Park in County Kent. Sir Richard Harding of Belle Isle in County Firm Fermanagh, Ireland, was created a baronet in 1808. In 1801 and was the grandson of Gideon Harding, who we mentioned on the previous slide. He died and was succeeded by his nephew, Reverend Sir Charles Harding, second baronet, rector of Crowhurst, who moved to Bowness Park in County Kent. And in 1809, King George III granted the family an augmentation to their coat of arms commemorating the victories of Captain George Nicholas Harding, at Piedmont and Atlanta. Here we have a list of the Harding Baronets all the way through the seventh Baronet. Similar coat of arms with supporters. This was the arms of the Viscount Harding of Lahore and of Kings Newton in the County of Derby, a title in the peerage of the United Kingdom created in 1846 for the soldier and Tory politician, Sir Henry Harding, son of Reverend Henry Harding, Rector of Stanhope. Here we see a list of the Viscounts Harding through the seventh Viscount who died in 2014. Another coat of arms, this for the Hardings of Newton in Wiltshire. Francis Harding, alive in 1623, was of Newton in Wiltshire, son of Thomas Harding, grandson of Thomas Harding, who were both of Pizzi in the same county, and we know that Francis had sons John and William. Very similar coat of arms with a Canton Ermines, coat of arms from Ireland. Another for the Hardings of Combe Martin and Upcott in Devonshire. Thomas Harding, born 1708, son of Robert, built Upcott House around the year 1752. He descended from the Harding family of Combe Martin, who had been established there for many generations. Another member of that family was Lieutenant Colonel William Harding, born 1792 of Opcott House, grandson of Thomas. He was a British antiquary, geologist, and army officer. Here we see a picture of modern day Opcott House. Another for Robert Harding, 
Treasurer's Remembrancer in Ireland in 1655, as recorded in the funeral entry of his daughter, whose name we were unable to find. Very similar coat of arms for Lo in London, granted in 1568 to Robert Harding, alderman and sheriff of London, and born by, and born by his brother John Harding, merchant tailor of London, with a crescent for difference. One from Maryborough in Queens County, recorded in the funeral entry of Margaret Harding, who died in 1639, wife of Hugh Harding of Dublin, Ireland, third son of Thomas Harding. Another coat of arms allowed in 1820 to William Henry Harding, Esquire of the Treasury of Dublin Castle in Ireland. Another arms granted to Reverend Henry Sire Harding of Monkstown and County Dublin. He was the son of William Henry Harding, who married Frances Jane Betham, the daughter of Sir William Betham, the Ulster King of Arms, in 1831. So it looks like he was granted a coat of arms as a favor by his father-in-law, who was in charge of granting coats of arms. Another from Barisset, Warwick, William Harding, born 1759 of Barisset, was gentleman of the Privy Chamber to King George III, a magistrate and a deputy lieutenant of Warwickshire. Here we see an oil painting of William Harding. And another from County Kent. For three acorns ore. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Thank you very much.